Hey, ladies. I don't know what just happened there, but uh, my uh, recording just kind of stopped. But I wanted to come back to you this evening um, to show you how my nails wore last week. Um, as some of you know, I'm recovering from an allergy outbreak of uh, some odorless monomer that I had tried. And... Um, this is my uh, glue dip method with the acrylic powder on this hand. And on this hand is Becca B89's method of just using glue, nail glue. Um, as you can see, uh, still a little bit of... Um... So, um, this is my opinion of... Um, of this method. Um, I did have quite a bit of glitter polish um, on last week and after taking it off I did use acetone to take it off and uh, there's a little bit of of you know, polish and glitter right there and around the cuticles a little bit but on the whole honestly I think this hand came out um, like after the the nail polish was removed came out looking much better than sorry about that my helper isn't here she didn't want to uh, wasn't feeling making the video today so I'm on my own um, but anyway uh, here's the glue acrylic dip method and as you can see, now that I'm looking at it through the camera, um, really uh, it's looking kind of rough there. Um, there's uh, some residue of the allergy there, uh, breakout on the, the sides there. And actually this hand was good because this hand I did not only had the allergy break out once whereas this hand um, I stupidly took off the nails was dealing with the allergy breakouts and then when I was feeling better I thought oh I'm, I'm over it and I'm gonna put them back on again and no that didn't work out well so I still have some residue on this hand this hand was much worse than than my right hand and there's you know little things here and there that um, like I don't know if that's scarring or if that discoloration like right there is ever gonna go away but the pinky had it really bad too but um, on the whole though they're they're much better than what they were um, so yeah here is the the glue and acrylic powder method um, where you put the uh, the nail glue on your entire nail, then you dip your nails into the powder of your choice. I, I used clear powder from CM Nail Supply, crystal clear powder, and um, did that. And as you can tell here, looks like there's some lifting going on. I didn't use any primer or anything because I was afraid that, you know, it would make me have a reaction. Um, so plus I threw out the primer that we had because of the reaction. I didn't want to cross contaminate anything. So yeah, ooh, look at that. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to fix that before I put on my nails of the week this week. Wow. The camera shows everything. Look at that. That's horrible. Hmm. And that's only a week. It's been exactly a week because I put these on last Saturday. So I guess I have some more cleanup to do on the, around those cuticle areas. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, on the whole, um, I work in an office. I'm on the computer pretty much 24-7. Um, um, I was skeptical about Becca B's um method because of the typing and all of that but actually they they held up pretty good 
And I also filed off like the, the flared duck tips. I was kind of over the duck tips, so I kind of made them like just regular square tips. Didn't do too bad. This one still, the pinky still kind of looks flarish, but yeah, you know. Not every natural nail is the same, so, you know. So, um, as far as, like, strength goes, both hands wore really well. As far as cleanup after glitter nail polish, obviously, I'm thinking the Becca B's um, method came out, lasted, you know, a lot better. Um because this side is not looking so good now that I'm examining it. But um, I would do both. It's funny because now Caitlin is kind of interested in uh, doing one of these methods, mainly because it is so blasted hot here in Florida. And to do nails outside with the acrylic and the monomer and everything, it's really hard. The heat and the humidity does affect the, the application. And... Um, it's just, you know, just not enjoyable. So at least with this method, I'll be able to do my nails inside. Um, and I think these are going to last a really long time, honestly. Last longer than using the monomer. I don't know. But I'll let you know next week when I do. I'll just do maybe one more update because then it'll be two weeks next week. And we'll see what um, that's all about. But, yeah, I'm thinking that for now, this makes me happy. It works well. Um, it uh, lasts well. It's sturdy. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking that uh, until the weather breaks here and I'm able to go outside on our porch and tr maybe try the monomer again on one finger only, I might try it on my pinky since that one was the worst. Um, although this, my pointer finger on my ring finger, uh, my left hand, was really bad too. So I don't know what finger will be the, the test finger, but definitely I'm going to try. Um, and if that fails again, then I'm definitely going to do some type of gel system. I have my list, my wish list and supplies building on my Amazon, <laughs> my Amazon wish list. So, um, you know, if all else fails, I will go to gels and see how well or not that I do with that. So, ladies, I just wanted to uh, let you all see my wear and tear on my um, no liquid uh, nail application and you know, share with you my thoughts. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go clean up this, um, these nasty lifting marks here. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed with that, but they're not loose or anything. So I don't know if it's really lifting or I think that when I put the glue on and then I shoved my finger in the, the acrylic powder, I think some of the glue might have shifted and might have smeared, which is causing that really nasty, looks like lifting. I don't know. But, so, yeah. So, what do you all think? This is the glue dip method on this hand. This hand is just glue. I'm thinking I like the results of just the glue. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, you could even just wear them like that with, you know, just throw a top coat on. I don't think they look too bad. Hmm. Oh, well, ladies, I will let you go. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We're getting ready to have a really nasty rainstorm here. The thunder is a rolling out there. So I will see you tomorrow with our Nails of the Week. Have a good night. Bye.